you know, in their God. Not but true. if you believe in something that hurts another person that or that does not give someone the same rights or freedoms, not necessarily under the Constitution, because this is under God. Uh, I, I think that that's wrong, and I think that the the Catholic Church and many other churches really need to reexamine themselves and their teachings because that is not what God is about. God is not about hindering people or even judging people. Um, John, I, I don't. Has he read that book? <laughs> I, no, no, he hasn't. Uh, <laughs> of course, he hasn't. No. <laughs> it's it's uh, you know when, you, like when anyway. you separate sheep from goats, that's that's a pretty big judgmental situation. Yes, it is. Yeah, how about Don Lemon? That's what we call the big one. Yes. Yeah, no, that doesn't get your attention. Goodness. Wow, mm-hmm. wow, wow, wow. Uh, Don, I don't know how to. I don't know how to take this to you. Uh, tell you this, God is uh, going to judge all the unredeemed, and and He does hinder uh, you doing whatever you want to do if it blasphemes Him. So yes, God does judge and hinder people. Uh, I, I mean, I just want to break that to you, and and for you to see, what He basically said is you cannot preach and teach. And we've got we've got a, another story I saw today where uh, this hate speech thing we predicted is happening. By the way, oh yeah, uh, and uh, and the, what we meant by this is that biblical teaching will become hate speech mm-hmm. because it does <clears throat> judge and it does hinder. Uh, and uh, and what He is saying is. If you're teaching a God that doesn't let you do whatever you want to do, see that's see that that's the flaw in wretched mankind, Rick Burgess included, is that we define incorrectly that the only uh, the only way God could really love us is to let us do whatever we want. But see, we we can figure that out if you're just a parent. Okay, now they, he, it's like he can't equate that God loves him by hindering his desire. To, to corrupt God's design or the fact that God is going to judge all those who oppose him because of his character. There's not, there's, that's what makes grace so beautiful. We just talked about that in, in uh, the Wednesday Bible study, mm-hmm. Wednesday. What makes grace so wonderful is that God in his goodness should not have allowed it to us. He should have killed every one of us. And, and, and in, and in uh, Genesis chapter 6, he did that one time. He got down to 8. So... Don, I know that would break Don's little heart, but <laughs> but the uh, but what what's happened is the fact that God, His grace is baffling and and uh, and mysterious. His wrath really isn't, and that and that's what that's what Don does not understand. The fact that He He must judge your sinful desires and mine, Don, not just yours, mine, and the fact that He allows redemption and offers us grace when we are so wretched. See, see, Don Lemon thinks that human beings are pretty good people. We're, hey, we're all we're we're all basically good. No, no. See that that that's when you start with that. That is your foundation. You're you're way off mark from the very beginning.